been a while since we fired this up, eh? Th this would be the movie Trolla. That's right. Oftentimes it's fired up whenever John Cena has a movie. R r right. Well, I don't want to talk about Legendary as the start of the show. But you know why we're firing up this week? I would assume because the Legendary with John Cena, I believe, comes out this this weekend is that correct no we fired it up because i'm going to be the star in a movie you are going to be a star in a movie yes sir it's the greatest it's the greatest day probably in history of mankind dare i even ask what this what this celluloid epic is going to be yes it is uh um, it's from uh, actually a good uh, uh, friend and a fan of a uh, wrestle crap, a guy named Corey J. Udler. Corey has, J. Udler, you say? He has decided to cast the Midnight Rose in a horror movie. It's a, it is a horror movie entitled Smut. <laughs> Did I mention that Mrs. Deal just wanted to talk about how I believe I am addicted to Cinnabon cereal? Your friend and mine, badass Billy Gunn. He's been caught cheating yeah. with a 24-year-old uh, 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 little, little filly, I guess. Billy Gunn gets caught cheating. Cell phone argument with ring rat. Oh, excellent. All right, whatever you want to say. Well, I'm obviously not that bad because it took you two months to fall in love with me. All right, I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Neidhart apparently busted for drugs. Oh, that's terrible. And uh, Neidhart apparently walks around with a 12-pack under his arm. Knocking on random doors and yelling at people. Nope. Oh, God. WrestleCrap Radio. How you doing, hot damn? Angry Jim! Oh, Jim, my God. It's been, been forever like a, since like we a, talked to you, pal. I've been really busy lately. Trying to do a little side business. Right. Of course, you know the barbecue... Restaurant went belly up. Yeah, that was that was very sad. That's horrible, Jim. Do you have any bottles of that barbecue sauce left? You doing like a clearance on them? No, I'm not doing clearance. I'm trying to. That's the only way I'm making money right now is some sales over the over the internet. Right. Let me tell you something. It got so our business got so bad we had to stop. We had to start refusing all the coupons that were put out in the Sunday paper. Boy, that, that caused, that stirred up an Oklahoma's hornet's nest. <laughs> I can imagine. It's a tough economy. People are, people are wanting a little something back from you, Jim. I had to have Hollywood John shut the restaurant down and guard the door. But anyway, me and John have been kind of doing a little, little, little lawn mowing business. A lawn mowing business? That's right. Everybody needs their grass cut. Everybody needs barbecue. So I figured I'd put it all underneath one roof. Jim's Barbecue and Lawn Service. That's, that's We're the only one that'll come to your door with a smoker and cut your yard, I guarantee you. So Hollywood John, Hollywood John will get everything cut and weed whacked by the time the charcoals are done. So let me see if I've got this right. <laughs> when 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 you when you pull up, you start cooking, and Hollywood John starts doing landscaping work. That's right. Have you ever have you ever started a barbecue while you had to go cut the lawn? I have never it's done stressful. that, Jim. <laughs> it's stressful. 
I would be very concerned about doing that, honestly. <laughs> we allow you to sit back and lift your feet up and not have to do nothing. Except for the time when Hollywood John started blowing, blowing the grass into the smoker. Well, that wasn't good. Why on earth would he do that? There was a hole in the snapper bag. <laughs> well, that's not good. I got a nice. I still got. I still got my snapper mower that Bill Watts gave me as a Christmas gift <laughs> back in 1986. I have a question. You know what they though. say? Nothing. Nothing beats a snapper. <laughs> That's good advice, whether you're talking about being in bed with a lass or a, or a good good blade. <laughs> I have a, speak, speaking, Jim. speaking of lasses, how, how's how's the missus, Jim? I haven't seen her in about. I haven't seen her since May. I don't know where she is. Johnny Ace been circling the house. Maybe with Korchenko in the uh, passenger seat. The reason why I even called is because I got a little excited that you guys were talking about. You guys were talking about old Anvil. Right. I remember when he teamed up with Butch Reed for a while back in the <laughs> mid South. They were yeah. They were hard. They were, you know, they were young. They were probably hard. They were hard <laughs> for any team to handle. I kind of recall some matches they had against the old that Captain Redneck and Killer Carl Cox. I always well, tried well, to. Were they I having this match to, while they were hard, Jim? I always tried to tell Bill Watts that he needed to, the Killer Carl Cox really needed to come out in a white robe and hood. He didn't, <laughs> didn't quite get what I meant. All right. Oh, what do you mean, all right? Think... Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I got Jim. Jim. Jim, that is not appropriate. That is. <coughs> I think he needs help. Nope. Oh. <laughs> CS Irwin at the door, everybody. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it? How are you guys doing tonight? <clears throat> well, yeah, the, the Hulkster apparently is in the hospital. He's having some kind of, some kind of ailment. Uh, something to do with his back, I guess. Yakety yak. Hulk's bad back. <laughs> this may have been the biggest news of the week. It says TNA stars are going to be on Family Feud this November. And you're... <laughs> Six nine Amazon. Wonder what sex with her's like. Dry humping oak tree. 